Hi, I'm Leslie Logan. Welcome to my fly studio here in Los Angeles. I'm so excited to show you the single leg stretch, AKA the single leg pull. I often refer to the single leg pull because that's what Joseph Plies used to call it. But if you know the single leg stretch, that's fine. I like the idea of calling it the single leg pull because it kind of tells you what you should be doing more than I think single leg stretch makes it sounds like it's supposed to be a stretch. And yes, there is a stretch happening, but it's really about warming up and connecting your arms to your back, right? So when I mean, you pull on your leg, yes, you get a stretch, but I think it changes the emphasis of what you should be feeling. Typically, the single leg pull comes after rolling like a ball. It doesn't have to, but if you are doing rolling like a ball, then you can check out that video in our playlist here. Um, you push, you're, you're here from your rolling like a ball. You rock back, you come up, you balance, you grab, you keep your right hand on your right ankle or your left hand on your left ankle. And then your opposite hand comes to the knee. So you're like this. You stretch the other leg up. It's like in a teaser. And you lower down here. And you're going to pull two times. One, two. Then you're going to switch the leg and you're going to pull. So my outside hand's on my ankle, inside hand's on my knee, and I'm going to pull, pull. Now some of the things people don't get is it's not a pull from my pecs and my biceps. Right? It's a pull from my back. So Pulling from my back. Oh my God, it makes your stomach work so much more. It's hard to talk. So pull through your back, two. You don't have to move with slow motion. It could be one, two, and one, two, right? But in the beginning, when you're trying to find your back, you may go a little slower. Now, when I switch my legs, that's where the stomach wants to pop up. So you have to pull, pull, hold it all together. That's the challenge. Pull, pull, hold it all together. Pull, pull, and again. Right? So you would go into the double leg pull after that. Um, but if you are feeling this in your neck, it's because you're not using your back and your stomach. Because your neck works to get your head up off the mat, but it doesn't have to work after that. The rest of your body can hold your head up, right? So just double check, am I pulling from way up here? Am I looking around the room? Am I pulling from my back? The other things I want you to realize is this free leg isn't just being thrown out there. Do you see how it dropped? It is reaching from my seat. My seat is holding it up. So if you do leg springs on the Cadillac, you'll know what I mean. I'm reaching from here. So this is active. I'm trying not to lock my knee. I'm trying to use all the muscles around my hip to hold it up. But I hit a target and then I hit a target. So you're not going down and falling. Do you see that? Nothing is working out. This is just hanging out. You're going to feel it in your hip flexors. The other thing you want to do, the reason why these hands are so important is if you switch them, the knee comes out to the side. You actually miss the good stretch. So you want to pull in a way that your shin stays parallel to your midline and doesn't come across your midline. Okay? So you want to pull, pull, and pull, pull. I hope that makes sense. Oh, last thing. You are not that fragile. So pull with your hands, use them. A lot of people just delicately hold their leg and pull. Grab on and give it a tuck. Unless you have a knee issue, and then grab onto your thigh bone and pull your thigh bone into you. It will give you the same stretch of the hip. It will still challenge the rest of your body. Um, I definitely don't want anyone to pull on their knee if they are not allowed to. But I don't, don't be so delicate with your fingers, right? Joseph Pilates was this like boxer man. So your leg is not a Fabergé egg. You can grab it and you can pull it into you. Um, and just feel how that changes the whole exercise. It's, it's not as easy as a lot of people feel it to be. It's not the most intense exercise we do, but there's a lot of good stuff and it's a lot harder than we tend to make it. I'm Leslie Logan. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions on this or anything else, please let me know. You can comment below and take this class, take this exercise with you in our weekly mat classes. I think you'll really find it's very essential in really connecting to your body and warming yourself up. Plus, you can kind of do it anywhere. Thank you. I'll see you next time.